Hello and welcome back to part five of Light's Head House. Now, as you know, the roof is done and I'm looking at the front, it is really plain. So I'm thinking, how can I put a bit of character into the front of the house? So I'm looking at it and thinking, do you know what? A bay window will do the job and I picked this window to do it. I mean, you could have a bay on any window to be fair, but I picked this one. I remember when we were staring photo now, I do check for door clearance because it's all well and good putting this on, but I do need to make sure that I can open the door. So here I am just <laughs> removing this years old glue from the frame and I'm thinking, oh yeah, this will be a doddle. But uh, yeah, it did put up a fight. I mean, my knife got through it in the end, but it was a bit of a job to get it off. So it's crunching away as I'm getting it off, but I did manage to get it all off in one piece. Well, it wasn't quite two hours, but it felt like it. So here I am just measuring out the bay window. Uh, I just need to see how big I want it to be or how big it can be without looking a bit silly. So I'm just measuring it up here. Um, I'm thinking it should go on quite well. It shouldn't be a problem. So this is me trying to figure out the bay window build. Now, I probably don't do it the proper way. I do it my way. So <laughs> please don't say, oh, no, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. Um, I do it the way it works for me. So I've got the my trusty hardboard, the lava gun, and gluing all the frame into place. Uh, this is quite a... I've never built a bay window before, so it's all a learning curve. But um, it does turn out okay in the end. So I've got my basic roof shape, which I'm happy with. Um, now I just need to make the frame around that and that's what I'm doing here. Now this is how it looks once most of it's been put together. But before I get to that, I'm gonna show you how I got there. Um, so I'm just making the front part of the bay and I cladded it. Uh, I put wood in the windowsill and cladded that. Uh, and texture on the roof inside the bay, which I'll show you in a bit. So here I am uh, finishing off the shape of the bay itself.
I made some stained glass panels just to make a bit of interest in the window. Um, I used acetate for glass um, and that's it cladded. I do put roof tiles on. So these are the little stained glass panels I made, just with coloured acetate and markers over the top. It seems to work well. The textured ceiling that will look like Artex once it's been finished painting. I put a few coats of acrylic on and I use the wooden tongue depressors to clad the windowsill um, which seems to work out really well uh, once that's painted and edged it, it will look smart uh, those are the window frames before I finish the stained glass and that is it before the windows went in so it's all a bit back to front but there was method in my madness I thought oh, I'll show it finished and then I'll show a few progress pics uh, and that was the roof before, at the start, before anything went on. So now we decide to make a stone trim for the bottom of the door. Uh, this is going to run along the front of the house, under the bay window. Now I'm using my favourite foam here. Uh, I love it. I love it. You'll see it a lot in my work. And what I'm doing is just measuring out the size of the width that I need, how big I want it to be, and then I'm going to carve out some really cool stone shapes on it. So here we go with my uh, little retractable pencil. Works great on this phone, and I just carve out the stone shapes. But you have to remember if you are doing something like this with an edge, to go over the edge as well with the stone detail. to do when all I can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are cause you're not here it's been way too long if I could lay down beside you I would, I would when nothing really matters that's all I And that is it it is on and it's right across the front i'm really pleased with that what i need to do now is add some cladding to the front of the house so what i'm going to do is start with some thinner cladding and then put intervals of wider cladding in between and this is the cladding that i'm doing now and all I'm using is card, just thin card. Um, I'm cutting it to size, sticking it on with wood glue. Now wood glue, oh, it is brilliant for this because it really bonds well with the surface of the wood and the cardboard. So once it's on, it's solid. 
Once I've finished with all the cladding, I'm going to coat it with PVA, give it a couple of coats, make it really solid before I paint it. And that is it for part five. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Uh, there'll be more cladding, painting. I will get round to it, I promise. I've just had so many bits to do first before I got to that. So I'm gonna paint that next time. So stay tuned and thank you for following and see you soon. Bye.